if you want to start, Lucas. Yes, uh, hello, this is Lucas. I'm a German Wikipedian. I live in Hamburg, Germany, and I'm very happy to be invited to the uh, CE meeting this year. And I'll be speaking about an issue that I've been talking about a number for a number of years now, which is environmental sustainability and Wikimedia movement. And today I want to present a new initiative um, that uh, talks about how we can uh, come together as as the organized part of the movement, which is uh, user groups and uh, chapters and affiliates in general uh, to support environmental sustainability in the Wikimedia movement. Mm. And uh, yeah, um, thank you again to the organizing committee. Thank you, Philip, for hosting us. And um, as Philip already said, uh, the issue is uh, quite pressing. We call it the climate crisis. Um, I hope you can see my slides now. Uh, and uh, I brought a newspaper headline from the New York Times um, that uh, highlights the urgency of the matter. But I also brought a newsletter, a he newspaper headline uh, from Poland uh, that talks about how dire the situation is in the background. Uh, you can see uh, a photograph from India. So it's really an issue that uh, affects everyone around the entire globe. And um, how I put it uh, is that life on our planet is dying. Uh, species uh, that we describe on Wikipedia uh, are going extinct. And we must act now uh, because it's not just animals and plants that are dying out, but it's um, people who are losing their livelihoods uh, and uh, islands that are sinking into the ocean. So it's, it's, it's everyone, uh, every person, every living creature on the planet that is affected. And actually we as the community movement, we are part of the problem. What you can see here is a picture of the power plant that um, that creates the electricity for the, for the Wikimedia data center in, in Texas. Uh, and here you can see um, figures from, I think they're from three years ago, but they're still up to date because not much has changed. Um, what you can see here is that uh, the vast majority of the electricity that Wikimedia data centers use uh, come from uh, conventional uh, energy sources and are not renewable. Um, and that has not been changing at all over the past years. Uh, but we are also part of the solution. I've been saying this for years, and that is for two main reasons. One is that we have a powerful brand. Uh, Wikipedia is a powerful tool, is a powerful platform. And of course, we are a movement that can make great things happen, obviously. Um, and we've shown that again. And of course, this conference is full of examples of what we can do as a movement, what we as Wikimedians can do together, what we can achieve together. And um, of course, uh, when we talk about environmental sustainability, the first thing that comes to mind is that uh, on the Wikimedia projects, on Wikipedia, we are writing about it. We are writing about it with scientific accuracy and we are writing about it in all languages of the world. And here you can see an example from Arabic Wikipedia, but of course, uh, it's also uh, the same in, in the languages of Central and Eastern Europe. And um, that is the one part, but the other is, you know, our own carbon footprint, of course. Uh, and my ask is that we should be reducing the environmental impact of the Wikimedia movement as such, and not just uh, talk about um, Wikipedia content, but of course, also talk about Wikipedia content. Mm. And uh, actually, the movement strategy recommendations, they talk about this. They say that we will also align our practices to support the environmental sustainability of our planet. So my, my, my talk uh, or my, my call uh, that we need to uh, reduce uh, our carbon footprint is uh, in the movement strategy recommendations. And uh, we actually sat down together um, to discuss what does this mean? So how are we aligning uh, our, our own activities to become more green, uh, so to speak, to become greener, so to speak? And the result was that uh, we are proposing, we, the movement is proposing two things. 
One is um, to become carbon neutral by 2030, which means that we should be moving to carbon neutral data centers. And, and that is the most important thing is we need to provide infrastructure for virtual meetings and become better at coming together virtually as a movement, such as in this meeting, of course. Um, and the second point is that we need to provide reliable and accessible information about the climate crisis, um, identifying content gaps and creating partnerships to close them. And so that is where we are on the movement strategy level. Uh, and of course, the next step would be to get us moving as a movement on these two issues. And um, that's what we did. And that's what I can present today. And that's what I'm excited about. Um, it's called the Wikimedia Affiliates Environmental Sustainability Covenant. And of course, it's not a very cool name. I should have thought about this uh, a little bit more before and even the abbreviation W-A-E-S-C is not very catchy, but it's important and um, um, we should talk about it. Uh, and you can read about it. Of course, it's a long, for Wikipedia, I mean, not so long, but it's a, a little word text and I'll break it down in three points for you so we can discuss it in, in our meeting today. Uh, because it's about the affiliates coming together and committing to free things. And I'll present them to you. Uh, the first is that uh, affiliates will uh, reduce their... Uh... Uh, Lucas, is there any way you can... Okay, now it's stopped again. It's, it seems like someone's uh, packing up stuff in the background, but it's fine now, I think. They were just slamming stuff around. <laughs> yeah, I, I was going to go to a... a quieter place but then i confuse the times i'm so sorry it's fine, so, it's fine, it's fine. as long <laughs> as no one's one banging, as long as no one's banging stuff around it's it's understandable <laughs> like it's comprehensible okay okay affiliates want to reduce their carbon footprints uh and of course that is by ideally by moving to green electricity and flying less which is very important um and the second issue is that we need to talk about improving sustainability topics on the Wikimedia projects, as I said, by identifying content gaps and uh, creating partnerships to close them. And the third is to support affiliates from the most heavily affected areas. Uh, because of course, um, we need to talk about, you know, uh, Wikimedia communities uh, on islands that are sinking into the ocean or in areas that are subject to desertification. And we need to support those affiliates uh, so that they can also, you know, adapt to the reality of the climate crisis. And uh, we already have a small group of affiliates that have signed onto it. Uh, the first was Wikimedia France, it was their idea. Um, and uh, based on the idea from Wikimedia France, uh, I sat down with a Wikimedian from India. So the West Bengal Wikimedians and Wikimedia Deutschland are the second and third signatory of this agreement. And then of course, the Wikimedians for Sustainable Development uh, are a signatory than Wikimedia South Africa, Wikimedia Italia and Wikimedia UK are the first group of signatories of this agreement. And now I'm here to advertise and of course, not to advertise, but to invite uh, the CEE affiliates to join this covenant. And um, yeah, sorry for the noise again, but that already concludes my presentation because now I'm interested. Yes, interested in what others have to say. Sorry, so now I'm interested to talk to you about uh, what we can do as, as CEE affiliates uh, to get active in this, uh, in this uh, area. And um, yeah, uh, happy to discuss and answer questions. So my presentation is very short. Thank you for your attention already, but uh, now I'm looking forward to hearing your criticism or your questions uh, or your enthusiasm. Thank you. Thank you, Philip. Thank you, Lucas. Um, Clara asked if you could send a link to your presentation. Uh, yes, I will share the presentation later on and I'll post a link to the meta page for the W. 
A E S C in in just a second. Yes, is, so it, is it on Commons? Because it's on, the slides are not on Commons yet. Oh, I'll okay. some later this afternoon. Um, but uh, I'll give you the meta link in just a second. Okay, thank you. Um, so, do we have any comments, questions, suggestions um, on this? Um, yes, please, Clara. Yes, yeah, so I wrote uh, in the chat. We just like have um, included the uh, the like climate topic or like especially drought in our um, we, like created a wiki project. It was I think inspired by uh, the like uh, Wikimania in Sweden and with uh, all the S uh, SDGs uh, goals and. Uh, but like we struggle with like our community because for them and this is a very specific topic and they just are not very supportive and uh, for them it's like the political, I don't know, like resolution. <laughs> it's the way too political topic for them to support. So we are like cooperating with like different NGOs in Czech Republic and we like, um, like we we've, we've cooperated with many like individuals from like who's who's taking care of about like the environment and stuff but still like this is like the left wing topic for our community so we are kind of like struggling on this part if we are able to like fulfill our like intentions and and still support this this topic so yeah, this is like something, uh, so like to be part of something maybe more international could help on some like part, but yeah, I'm just like thinking out loud. So maybe well, if you have like any suggestions what to what to do about this or if uh, what are your, uh, uh, what are your uh, experiences like with this? So, so uh, Clara, if, if like Wikimedia Czech Republic doesn't want to do a statement, is there a discussion about um, your own footprint and how you would like to reduce that? No, no, no. It's more about like, uh, I think it's the point, the second uh, point that Lukas mentioned in the in this like, uh, it's not about our, our own footprint because this right. is quite, yes. it's quite low, but it's more about like supporting the the topic uh, within like the community or mm -hmm. with uh, with like uh, the let's say Wikimedia projects themselves uh, in general because this is something we tr we are trying to do for the last two years but we are kind of like struggling uh, with our own community and their supporting of this. Okay, so basically the question is like to other affiliates if if they have experience with this. Um, Wukash wrote, sorry, so Vera first said, um, suggested that the abbreviation of this initiative should be made to sound cooler. Lucas? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm open to that. And of course, uh, a big part of how we can move forward in this regard is to change, uh, to exchange experience and to share stories about how we're moving forward, um, to learn from each other. And so what we... Right now, I'm just advertising the idea or the proposal in general and asking for affiliates to sign. And uh, I think the next big step will be to create uh, a meta page, a platform, a place where we can share experiences and, and examples and success stories uh, to inspire each other and to learn from each other. And I think that will be an important step. Yes. And we already have a little... Uh, page that I, we, we are looking at and it's super ugly. We need to make it more pretty and have a nice abbreviation because of course it also needs to be inviting and appealing. Thank you. Uh, so Vukash has a uh, Yeah. Um, so thank you for, uh, for sharing this. Uh, I wanted to say that um, this is an issue very near to my heart and we actually started something very similar, although much simpler. Uh, it's a couple of lines of text uh, as a board resolution. And the interesting thing is that board resolution was proposed by employees. Uh, so Natalia and Clara back in 2019 said, uh, can we do something like this? And, uh, and we did. It's not, it's not very detailed. It's, it's actually not detailed at all, but Here's what happened, and this may be interesting to others in other uh, chapters and music groups. 
the fact that this uh, res this simple resolution was uh, enacted by our board um, caused caused this decision to um, to be kind of present in the heads of people engaged with the chapter, and that influenced some of the buying habits. So um, my staff and and volunteers also started thinking, okay, do we need to print this? Uh, do we uh, can we buy uh, the gadgets that we uh, want to hand out, can we buy them uh, from a sustainable manufacturing uh, company? Um, can we uh, can we buy wood wooden gadgets instead of plastic? That's those those sorts of things, and that happened very quickly. Um, so I think uh, kind of I understand the the, the, the ideological fight uh, here. Um, but, but I think uh, limiting it to just what the chapter does and that this is an internal matter, we, we don't have to kind of be an advocate outside. Um, limiting it to internal, to, to the changes in internal decisions worked and I had zero friction. No, nobody's said much about the, the, the change here. Now, I also want to point out that this is a, an example of a misunderstanding um, <laughs> because um, the, the, uh, the things that I mentioned about being neutral, um, Wikipedia as a project needs to be neutral because that's part of its job, part of the role. A Wikimedia organization cannot possibly be, be neutral because its mission is also in a sense political. Right. If you're fighting for free knowledge and free access to information, that is a political goal um, yes. for a nonprofit. So well, let's, let's, maybe let's put it this way: there's a there are parties who are uh, opposed to this kind of idea, so it is exactly. political in a way. Exactly. So, and I think if we can, uh, th this this somehow connects to my talk from Friday, right, about the confusion between. A Wikimedia organization, a Wikimedia nonprofit, and the Wikimedia projects. If we can kind of explain to people using this example also that this these are two different things, and it is quite okay and actually required for a Wikimedia nonprofit to pursue social goals and some sometimes political agendas. Um, I think we'll be in a better shape. Uh, as a movement, so I I say let's go for it. And Lucas, I'm going to recommend um, joining this uh, this group uh, to Wikimedia Poland's board. Thank you. Jake, Okay, great. <laughs> um, do you have any other uh, opinions on this? Um, or some examples of where you've tried to um, cut down on your carbon footprint in your affiliate or like as a as an individual. Um, I know so Claudia is here from Wikimedia Austria, um, and I'm a bad board member because I didn't I wasn't present at the last strategy meeting where this was discussed, and I can't from and I can't remember anymore what the actual result of that discussion was so maybe uh claudia you have an, a comment on, on this yeah so um actually we are struggling a bit with it <laughs> um so we we got um in, in touch with Nico, nikki already a bit uh, beforehand so um all in all it's a great initiative so it's not about like whether it makes sense or not but um we have still a lot of open question marks as on like what exactly does it mean for us and what do we want to do because we have like i personally and i think also we as an organization we have trouble with just signing something as some kind of like general statement just like handing out a like on facebook or twitter or whatever saying like this is nice and then that's it we don't want to do that like when we sign this thing and that's why we haven't signed it yet because we haven't uh, as an organization made up our minds and haven't had like enough um, especially um, conversations with our communities what we actually can and want to do and I think um, as much as most people agree like we should do something when it comes down to it what does it exactly mean especially when it comes to like 
um, travels, right? Like um, travel is something that is dear to the communities after one and a half years of pandemics. We all know like, okay, we should do more hybrid events and we can do more with um, video, but we also see that it's dearly missing and that um, in, in a lot of sense, um, things are deteriorating a bit, I, I find. Um, especially around movement strategy, I can see that we like over one and a half years that just stretched it a bit too much that we didn't have any in-person meetings where we can exchange on a different level. So, and we, we, we tried before, like we tried to um, change our um, support uh, rules to a more sustainable travel before. And that um, created a lot of pushback. So it's not so easy. Like we can't just as a board and stuff, I think come up with like 10 rules or like the things that you suggest in, in your, on the meta page. It's like, okay, yeah, let's do that without discussing it and trying to get people on board. I think that would be the wrong approach. And so as long as we are still struggling ourselves with like, what exactly can we promise and what do we want to promise and where can we also get the people really on board and not just have it as a like greenwashing thing like that we can put it in our annual report and uh, hand it out a like or a signature somewhere. So we think this, this is this is something that we are we don't feel comfortable with and that's why we haven't signed it yet. And it also brings me a bit to the question like how do we want to interact with each other here because at the moment it's very um, um, un. Um, how should I say, like, you don't commit to a lot, like you put your signature there, but what does it actually mean? Like, how do we in future then also hold ourselves accountable to it? How do we exchange around the topic? So I think like, it's a great starting point. So it, it's not a criticism and we have to start somewhere, but we as an organization struggled immediately. Like, when do we sign? What does it mean for us? How ready do we need to be uh, in order to make that um, something meaningful and not just something that we sign off quickly? Um, if that makes any sense. And I think that's also perhaps that's something that I find is still a bit missing there. Um, what would be the next steps? What does it actually mean for us if we we sign that? Especially because I think none of us are in a position where we, and not even we came here at Germany, because then I, I talked uh, to, to the colleagues there, and I think you're also very much still um, deliberating uh, with various stakeholders what that actually means for you as an organization and what you're going to do. So I, I think this is... Um, yeah, this is something that we should probably talk more about, like um, what does it then actually mean and um, how do we go about it? Thank you, Claudia. Uh, Lucas, do you have a reply to that? Yes, uh, so, so thank you for, 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 your, for your honest feedback, uh, Claudia. So yes, uh, I have, I've seen two, two basic types of reactions from affiliates. One is, well, let's sign this and then let's see what we actually want to do. And the other reaction was, well, before we sign it, what do we want to do? And Wikimedia Sverige, Wikimedia Sweden was very much told me the same things that, that you've been telling me. So that was, uh, that I felt very familiar. And um, yes, uh, other fields said, no, 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 we want, want to sign this now because we want to put our position, our name out there, and then we want to see where we want to go. Um, yes, uh, what I, of course, want is that everyone joins the table to talk about well what does it mean now and how can we exchange ideas and plans and come 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 up with a, a, a joint process of you know um and yes uh, and then create a version 2.0 of the document with a cooler name maybe and you know that's a little more specific and that tackles tackles the most difficult of all the questions which is how much and how do we want to travel in the future yes Thank you, Lucas. Um, any other uh, opinions? Um, there are a few people here with affiliate background. Uh, sorry, did, did this uh, uh, like um, I don't know call went directly to the board? So, so. Right now, right, right now, this document is directed as, as at us Wikimedia affiliates, uh, all Wikimedia organizations. So this is who the document is talking. So it's very internal, and um, yeah, and and I think what's going to be interesting, if I can just expand for a second, is I think it's important to know that. At the moment, I think 70% or more than 70% of our carbon footprint is long distance international air travel. 
And so that will be the hardest question to answer. How much are we willing to give up on that? Um, and how can we make that uh, in line with our mission and with in line with our uh, with the principle of equity to bring everyone to the table? And uh, that will be a very interesting question to have and also maybe a painful decision to make at the end with the communities. Um, because, of course, the, 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 the reality of the climate crisis is on Wikipedia. We, we, you know, we were, would be so hypocritical to not act on it uh, because we are describing it, we are writing about it on the Wikipedia and on, on Wikipedia projects. And then we also have to, you know, implement this knowledge. And yeah. Uh, did that answer your question, Clara? <laughs> Clara shrugs, so uh, we don't, it's not quite clear. Um, do you have any other comments, questions, uh, feedback for Lucas or for the general idea of uh, reducing your carbon footprint? Because if we don't have any right now, maybe it would be worth like discussing more in detail more in detail like the last one you mentioned Lucas about like travel and like if there are any ideas out there to maybe to maybe reduce it like did you include the foundation in the travel or is that just like the affiliates themselves I uh, no no so 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 the only affiliate right now that is reporting their carbon footprint is the Wikimedia Foundation and 70% right. of their carbon footprint is international air travel right um, and uh we think mean Sweden is starting to report on their carbon footprint as well, and I think it will look similar. Um, and uh, what I think is, what I think is that actually the Wikimanias of the past were unequitable yes. because they only allowed those to participate that had the time, that had the flexibility to travel internationally for like a week, and. Um, I think we also need to sit down like for future Wikimanias and for future meetings, you know, not only learn from the pandemic, but also like really reflect and say, yes, in-person meetings are important. Those of us that have been to in-person meetings know how much more valuable they are in addition to the mere exchange of ideas and knowledge, um, because you can connect on a totally different level when you're in a room together and you can uh, find common ground much quicker and much more easily when you're sitting uh, like at a dinner table or something like that. But our movement is, you know, it's tens of thousands of people in the world and only around a thousand are at the Wikimania. And who is at the Wikimania? It's not everyone. It's not those that have children to take care of and so on. Uh, not of those that can't, you know, just take a few days of work to, to attend the conference. So we need to, to make uh, our meetings in the future more environmentally sustainable, but also more equitable. And we need to have an honest discussion about it. And right now, I don't, I don't know where this discussion is going to take place. And maybe we need to you know, make a conscious decision of, uh, about having this discussion and coming up with a professional answer and maybe you know, consulting with people who know more about this than, than me uh, about, about air travel in the future. Mm. Okay, yeah, I mean, I can offer an example, like um, for Wikimane in Cape Town, we had no applications by like the, I don't want to call them core community members, but like people who regularly like attend those kind of meetings or used to in the past. Like no one was interested in going to Cape Town um, for probably various reasons. And so I, I'm, I'm not quite sure how, how interested a lot of people are in actually doing these long distance traveling parts like i for, for myself have like decided not to go to bangkok before they cancelled it just because it was unfeasible to go to for four days or five days and then fly back again um so i'm, I'm also not sure like how high the demand actually is or if it's just uh, the idea of a free trip in a way that, that makes people apply in the first place or if they maybe can contribute to the trip in, in some way. Okay, uh, Lucas turned off, off his camera, but that's fine. Uh, do you have any other comments on? I'm still there. I'm still there. Okay, great. 
Uh, do you have any other comments um, that someone would like to share? Yeah, so, so, so the question I'm asking myself is like, as I just said, when and where are we having this discussion? And um, I raised this in the last SWAN call for those of you who participated. I asked Carol, like, okay, right now the movement strategy implementation is moving forward on the front of the, the reorganization of the movement with the uh, movement charter drafting committee, yes. But what about all the other initiatives such as environmental sustainability, you know, and, and, and many others? And uh, I'm, I'm, and Carol promised me, yes, there will be a dashboard, you know, a place to organize and on, on, on moving forward on these other fronts. So I'm very much looking forward to, to, to this window opening. Um, but while we're waiting for this, um, of course, I'm very happy to, you know, um, once I've, once I'm done presenting this initiative to all the affiliates around the world, Yesterday, I was at the Wiki in Daba conference. Next week, I think, or the weekend after, I'm at the French conference. Um, then to create like a hub where we can uh, exchange uh, experiences from the Netherlands, from the Czech Republic, from, you know, all the countries around the world that about the stories about environmental sustainability that we already have. And then to come up with a joint, um, non, it doesn't have to be a joint plan to go forward, but many plans. Um, it could be, you know, vegetarian food at events. It could be, you know, taking the train more often to go to places. It could be switching to wind power for the data centers in Texas. It could be, you know, so many things. And uh, the only thing that hurts is inaction because, of course, the climate crisis is so urgent um, that, you know, we need to get moving on it. Uh, we, need to, we need to start acting the sooner we, uh, as soon as possible and um, yeah that's why it's important to you know not wait for something to happen but you know start acting wherever you can right now and uh, that's why I'm happy to, to, to hear from everyone who's saying well we have this and other people are doing other things and that's super important Um, because I still don't see any comments in the chat or, or any hands raised. Um, Lucas, I, I remember this push to like turn the, the data centers to, to use green energy. That was quite a long while ago. So what was the explanation by the foundation why this isn't possible? Yeah, actually, so <laughs> it was, there was actually the Trump administration. So when Obama was president, he said he had an initiative to make the U.S. data center industry green. And the representatives from the U.S. data center industry were in Washington, D.C., and they had like a photo op with President Obama, and they signed a paper, we are going to go green. And then Trump got elected, and all that went down the drain. And what the Regime Foundation is saying, that it is so difficult for them uh, to switch data centers. But... It's, not least, it's yeah it's difficult that's it's, if it's difficult it's not impossible <laughs> yeah that's, exactly that's basically it yeah. <laughs> yes and and that's why i'm not i'm i'm, I'm not happy with the answer uh, we need a better answer than that and and then other people are telling me well the data centers they are not you know 70 percent is air travel so the data centers are only 20 percent you know, is it really so important? And I say, yeah, it's so important because it sends a message. Yeah. Because what is Wikipedia? Wikipedia is a website. And so when we want to make Wikipedia green, we need to use green data centers. It's, it's a message that we send to others uh, in the Silicon Valley, but in the NGO and in the free knowledge sector. So it's, it's, it's a message we are sending with that. And so that's why I think also, especially this is so important. And this is why I keep bugging um, the Wikimedia Foundation about it. So yes, I started that that call so long ago, um, but um, I keep I keep repeating it. Um, and actually, there's also a small line in the W A E S C about about exactly this for 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 just this reason. Yes. 
So what, what was the last acronym you used? Yeah, the Wikimedia Affiliates Environmental Sustainability Covenant, the okay. WAES. Okay, so what, what, what Vera mentioned is, should have a cooler acronym, yeah. Um, hmm, that's difficult to, to reformulate. Yeah, maybe we can move a few letters around, but yeah. Um, Maybe the like opinions from people who who live in in areas where air travel is like the only way of actually getting around, um, because that's a very important part that we can't really leave out and that we can't um, go without in a way. Yeah, um, now we have to acknowledge that meetings are important for the movement. We have to acknowledge that you can't just take the bike like people in the Netherlands are meeting by bike. Um, and you can't just uh, take the train even in many places of the world. And yes, that, that is just a reality. Uh, but we still need to, you know, stop doing nothing because that's what we are doing right now. Yeah. Well, I don't want to call out uh, individual people because that would be un unfair right now. Um, we have eight minutes left. Um, but we... I think we had a good discussion so far, at least in, in my opinion, <laughs> not sure about other people. Um, maybe, Ambar, maybe you have something to share from, from the Netherlands that would be interesting. Except for me coming by bike to our meetings. <laughs> <laughs> well, ex for example. I, know, I, I, think, um, I think we have the same uh, feeling as Claudia expressed for Wikimedia Austria. I'm not sure how, many, how extensive our discussions have been, but we would like to join something like this, but then um, it has to be clear that it means more than just signing up on it. What does that actually mean? So I like I, I, I like your pragmatism, Lucas, saying, you know, we'll sign up and then we'll see if we need to take the next step. But it's also it, it, the same thing uh, as Kron said, we have to also say to our members, what does it exactly mean that we sign up for this? And, and what is that? What is our commitment to that? That being said, we, we have a very small office and I think we've done everything virtually, not just by... Um, because we had to buy law, but also because we think we're actually reaching new our target audiences, which weren't able to join us before. Think of Wikigos, Caribbean, etc. So, but it, it's hard to sort of take a next step. And I, I agree with you that we should do some kind of concerted effort. Um, and it is, of course, one of the recommendations uh, with the sustainability of our movement, but our whole planet. So I think we should be able to tie a lot of stuff to that. I'm not sure that helps. It's a, sort of a general thing. Yeah, Clara writes in the chat that she supports the idea of sending a signal across the Wikimedia project. Um, she believes it that's actually, yeah, that's actually good reason to sign up. But yeah, have there been talks with the Netherlands, Lucas, or not? For signing up? Lucas? Lucas? Can you hear it? I'm sorry. Sorry, I was, I was being asked. What was the question again? Uh, have there been talks with the Netherlands for joining this initiative? Uh, so, so we have, you know, we have sent small, small messages around, around. Uh, I think we haven't invited formally Sandra yet. I think we just sent her like a small email about it. And I like this, what I'm doing right now is starting to advertise uh, to affiliate representatives. And as you, as you maybe saw, there has not been a, a big Wikimedia L email yet. And that is probably happening in December. Uh, and um, yeah. Nice. But just on the, um, the topic, uh, this Claudia again from Wikimedia Austria, on the topic of sending a signal, this was exactly one of our concerns. You can also send the opposite signal. If we sign it and don't talk to people about it, I'm afraid that we have more pushback because they're like, oh, you're signing to all of that without talking to us? And what does it mean? And so we really like we want to include it in our next community meeting, like our planning workshop, where we also talk about our annual plan. But that, that would be the first platform for us to get people a bit on board and discuss it before we sign, because I, I agree it can have a positive signal, but it can also just create a huge backlash if people don't feel consulted and feel like, oh, you know, like the board and the staff making decisions without us and not consulting us. And what does that all mean? So but that's probably very different from community to community. But this is something that we like from having similar conversations about that topic before uh, it identified as a bit of a, a risk in, in that kind of um, yeah uh, strategy. <laughs> Yeah, 
Thank you. Uh, anything to add to that, Lucas? Or just nodding along? Yeah, no, yeah, so having these discussions is so interesting. For example, when I sat down with the Swedes, they were like, with the Swedish chapter, I was, they were like in a different planet because sustainability wise, Sweden is, you know, in a different galaxy. And when I talk to Americans, I have to explain the concept of solar energy to them because, you know, or, or renewable energy to them because buying electricity is a, a new concept in the US. And of course, people in Sweden, they have done this for 20 years. And um, yeah, and that's why, you know, we have different speeds and different questions being asked. And so that's why it's also different, difficult to get this in one document, but but difficult doesn't mean impossible, as you just said, uh, Philip. So we need to do this, yes, and create a version 2.0 of the document uh, with, with those that are interested. I mean, you'd think with like the vast resources of the foundation, like that, something like that isn't exactly impossible. It's just that the, the will isn't there to actually do it. Yeah, and what we should probably do now that I've heard from, 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 from Claudia and from the Swedish as well, maybe for the time now, what, what the Swedish will say, well, we won't sign it right away, but we'll post something on the talk page and say, we are very much interested and we want to, want to discuss, you know, the 2.0 version. And yes, uh, let's do that. Okay, there's some um, comments in the chat. Uh, maybe it's also, Clara says, maybe it's a good idea to uh, collect what the individual branches or communities are already doing on the on the meta page to like provide examples of what could be done or can be done. Yes, yes, um, I need to I need to publish the 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 list of projects or list of ideas uh, page. Right now, it's a very very boring spreadsheet, and I need to <laughs> get it out of that spreadsheet because, of course, spreadsheets are scary. Um, yeah. Mm, and no, and Jan Bart, uh, I'm a big uh, enemy of all things crypto for that exact reason. Yes. Yes. So what Jan Bart is, is referring to is that like accepting cryptocurrencies for donation basically means you accept like a huge carbon footprint that goes with that donation. Just by the virtue of it being a, a cryptocurrency. Okay, great. Uh, we have two minutes left. Um, if there are no, no other comments, I would, I would stop the recording and then we can still talk a bit. No, thank you again, everyone. Thank uh, you very much. And um, sorry again for the noise. Uh, won't happen again.